Good morning, my beautiful and handsome Aries. Welcome back to Baby Boss Tarot. Yes, I know the reading is very early this morning, but I've been up for hours. That's what happens when you have autistic children. Anyway, Aries, let's find out who is coming towards you today, which is August 31st, and what do they want? Who is coming towards my lovely Aries? Who is coming towards my Aries? What do they want? High Priestess. Someone who has been holding back from you, who is no longer holding back. Uh, you could be dealing with um, a Cancer strongly here. Uh, with the High Priestess, could be Pisces as well. But this person who has been quite secretive, not talking to you, they are now coming in, rushing towards you. That's the fastest card of the deck right here. Um, clarify the Chariot, please. Clarify the Chariot. I feel like this person ha is having to sneak away. They're being strategic. I'm not seeing this as um, someone's being like deceptive or this is a liar or someone who cheats or anything like that. I'm seeing someone is being strategic coming towards you. It could be Gemini or Aquarius. How about the Seven of Swords, please? Someone does have to sneak away so they can come in to offer you this couple of... A lot of emotions here. A lot of, um, yeah, a lot of water energy here. So there's a lot of emotions involved in this. Give me one of this, please. Magician. Yeah, someone's definitely trying to be strategic coming towards you, Aries. I've just heard this was their plan all along. What else does Aries need to know about who is coming towards them? This person's surrendering. Um, <laughs> this person has realised that if they don't make a move soon, they may actually lose you. You might end up being defeated, and then they're going to obsess about it. Okay, <clears throat> the devil's come out here. Sorry, I have to cover up the two naked people on the on this card. I do feel a lot of, of obsession about if they don't get to you in time, then they're going to lose you. That's what the obsession is. Why is the Five of Swords in the reverse? Yeah, they are feeling that. If they if they don't take this leap of faith towards you now, you're going to slowly move on and go find somebody else. Alright. <clears throat> let's, let's get the zodiac sign for who this could be. A lot of heavy emotional energy coming from this person, whoever it is. Pisces at the bottom of the deck there. Who is this person coming towards Aries quite rapidly? Who is this person coming towards Aries? Got a Capricorn. Who is this person coming towards Aries? Got Leo. I'll get you one more. And I'll get to the messages. Aries, you and Leo have been in each other's energy a lot recently. And you've got Cancer as well. That's that chariot energy. And the high priestess energy. So these could possibly the three signs that are coming towards you, Aries. Let's get some messages. What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? They've got a lot to say. Be prepared, Aries. They've got a lot to say. I don't think they're going to take no for an answer. Okay. They are saying, um, give me a break at the moment. Like, um, I will make it up to you. Please wait. This is the problem. They're cross-watching. This is a problem. Aries is done waiting. You probably have taken too long. This is probably why Aries, this cross-watcher, is rushing towards you. They feel like they're going to lose you soon. Okay. They want to make you happy. Their past is haunting them. It could be exes in the situation that are haunting them. Baby mothers, baby fathers. They want to know, did you move on? Yeah, so they feel like um, that you're going to move on without them if they don't make a move. They are saying you are clingy, but that did come up in the reverse. So it's possibly them that's going to be clingy. My kids can't wait for us to be together. They are desperate to meet you. The time, not now. Let's know more about each other. If I don't text back, it's my problem, not yours. Yeah, I thought so, right. My baby father is very jealous of our connection and will do anything to stop us being together. You can reverse that. It could be somebody's baby mother who is very jealous of your connection and will do anything to stop you two being together. <coughs> My last relationship was toxic and I don't want to get hurt again. I hide my emotions and my feelings towards you. Get ready, I'm coming. Aries, get prepared, they're coming, they're on the way. But have you moved on, Aries? 
have you moved on? Did they take too long? And now you're saying, fuck it, you don't make an Aries wait, I'm moving on. Uh, you turn me on in weird ways. I'm not committing to anything serious right now, but do you really like me or you're just kind to everyone? So this person does think that you're very kind-hearted, but um, I feel like there's quite a jealousy streak in this person. Okay. Um, let's just see. Aries, are you moving on from this person? Is Aries going to be moving on from this person if they don't pull their finger out their ass? Will you move on? I think you will, yeah. Yeah, I think you're going to be moving on, Aries. The Seven of Wands, your guard is up. Okay, I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want don't want them to come in their bullshit because they've already hurt you in the past with the Ten of Swords. Uh, three of Pentacles. Um, you just, I think you're focusing on work. Um, but the Three of Pentacles, I can mean that. That's a collaboration. So I feel like you do want to make a collaboration with someone after being left out in the cold. So sorry, cross watchers. Um, you possibly did take too long and Aries is going to be moving on. Uh, without you. Okay guys, message.